After rescuing the emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered emperor of the long reigning Han dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zheng. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, An imperial edict? Hmm. We have already... So I still remember Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. Ah, Cao Cao. I don't think we've met since that time we faced Dong Zhuo. Yes, you're Sun Jian's boy. I see you've grown into a fine young man. You truly are the son of the Tiger of Jiandong. It is a pity that your father was taken from us so early. He truly was one of the land's greatest heroes. Thank you. I know my father would have been happy to hear you say so. Although, this is no time to relive the past, right? Indeed. I look forward to seeing your considerable strength in this battle against Yuan Shu. Go forth, young tiger, and do what you do best. Sure thing. That goes without saying. It's time to go! It's time we repay the debt we owe you and Shu!
apologies. Supply unit hasn't arrived yet. I wonder. It'll play into enemy hands if I leave camp now. But maybe I can at least scout out what's happening. The supply unit. It'll play. Target slipped through our fingers. Hooray! Now we can be sure that everybody has something to eat. like the supply unit is all right i'm so happy everyone's okay okay our preparations are complete now we can move to the attack Glad that turned out well. Keep it up. That's it. Yep. I need to meet with Master Yuan Shao and reach a peace. 
Young Hong, handle this. Field-based forces are peasants. Nothing more. None of them can match me. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to the deal. shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Yep. Capturing the enemy's bases yep. is the key yep. to defeating them. Truly enchanting, Lady Shang Shang. so badly in my duty. Who says a woman has to be weak? Hooray! Victory is ours! Excellent. I marvel at your skill. Wow! You're really fighting hard, aren't you? Lord Ji Ling has been defeated. Our alliance with Yu and Shao is over. We can't expect any more aid, then we surely can't expect to win either. Liu Bei and his men. How I loathe them. Sweep them aside. <laughs> All right. I need everyone. 
to defend this area. been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We can't hold back the enemy now! I'm gonna run for it! There is no greater disgrace than to flee before the enemy. It is time he paid for his contemptible behavior. to see this day! Hooray! Victory is ours! Keep it up! That's it! Yuan-In has been defeated! Jian-Ye has fallen to Sun Tse's forces. Ugh. The enemy is coming with ever greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. I've got some great stuff here.
I appreciate your business. There. Again? Yep. How are things with you? Hey, get on in here. Capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. If we need food, we just have to steal it. It looks like there's plenty here. Be thankful that we'll leave you alive. Just hand over your food. Good if you aren't alive to eat it! Who says a woman has to be weak? Hey! You're really doing well out there! I expect nothing less from you! Who says a woman has to be weak? Continue working hard to set a good example for everyone else. We've been defeated. We can't fight without supplies. You saved all of our food. How can we ever thank you? Hooray! Victory is ours! Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Witness the strength of my bow! Is 
there's absolutely nothing we can eat? I simply can't fight when I'm hungry like this. Sao's here? Don't let him anywhere near me. But... Thank... Thank you. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Thanks.
I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business.
You really save. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Defensive positions! How dare you raise your blades against me! I am your emperor! Someone, slay these perfidious fools! This is the perfect opportunity to strike. Soon, sir, he's nothing but trouble. Send him off to join his father at once. All right, we've won this battle. This is our chance to push the enemy lines back. Follow me. Witness the strength of my bow! Such great strength! I'm pulling back for now. Who says a woman has to be weak? You are truly enchanting, Lady Shang Xiang. Give it up! That's it! Who says a woman has to be weak? Excellent. I marvel at your skills. I can't hold out any longer!
could my tactics fail like that? Who says a woman has to be weak? An incredible display of skill. Now, take defensive positions. Witness the strength of my bow! True warrior of the three kingdoms. Who says a woman has to be weak? You are truly enchanting, Lady Shang Xiang. Impossible. Unthinkable! Inconceivable! I am the Emperor! How could I be forced to endure such an outrage? Alright! Finally! We have settled that matter for good! Alright! We have won the day! Excellent work, everyone. I appreciate the effort you gave out there. Hmm. You did a decent job leading us, Greenhorn, despite your inexperience. Indeed, you can say that again. Combine the youth of Master Sun Tzu and Master Zhou Yu with our veteran know-how, and we're unbeatable. Um... You're not including me as one of the veterans, are you? I'm actually still pretty young. We are quite the formidable fighting force. With Yu and Shu gone, we have brought stability to Jiangdong. This should enable us to begin preparing for the inevitable battles to come. Battles to come? Is there someone else left to face? Yes. We plan to attack Xu Chong and take on Cao Cao himself. What? What? We just fought alongside Cao Cao and his men. After defeating Yuan Shu, Cao Cao will turn his attention to Yuan Shao next by mobilizing his army to capture Hebei. That leaves Xu Chong open to our attack. And if we take Xu Chong, that gives Wu a stepping stone into the Central Plains, which puts us on the path to ruling the land. That's quite the plan, Zhou Yu. It all sounds a bit reckless to me. Master Cheng Pu, help me out here. It's a bit unorthodox, but it will allow us to strike the enemy where they're weakest. Isn't that right, Zhou Yu? Precisely. Okay then, I say we give Zhou Yu's plan a shot. Master Cheng Bu, what's come over you? Nothing. I simply believe that this is our best chance at victory. Well, if you're going along with them, then I suppose I've got no choice but to join you. Wow, Lord Zhou Yu! I'm in total support of your plan. Master Sun Tzu, you and Master Xiao Yu make for quite the team. And I shall do my best to support you both. Thanks, everyone. Although, we're not making our move right away. We need to build up our strength while keeping an eye on Cao Cao and Yuan Chao. For now, let us return to our beloved homeland of Wu. You did it, my lord. Now we just need to defeat Yuan Shao, and none will be left standing in your way. 
No, our true concern is Sun Tzu. I thought that if Sun Jian fell, the Sun clan would go with him. However, his son has conquered Jiandong in the span of just a few years. Furthermore, after seeing their performance in this battle, the young tiger may be the greatest threat to my ambition. Hmm. I doubt that brat will be much of a challenge. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that, my lord. Oh no? What makes you think so, Guojia? Sun Tzu did overwhelm the various warlords within Jiangdong. His might is impressive, but his campaign has earned much ill will throughout the region. However, he remains rather oblivious to that fact. The little conqueror of Jiangdong only looks forward. Or rather, he can only see what is in front of him. He will meet with misfortune before long, and he will never see it coming. Hmm. So he will be brought down by a much lesser man. That would be somewhat of a letdown, but I could see it happening. In a sense, I suppose that's the same way his father fell. Although, the Soon family is made up of many fearsome tigers. It is possible that one of them may eventually rise to become my equal. It will be interesting to see which path the tiger takes when that time comes.
Where's my brother? We must make preparations for our attack on Shu Chung. There's much he must attend to. I wish he would take his role a bit more seriously for a change. My lord! I bring urgent news regarding Lord Sun Tzu. He's been attacked while out on a hunt by a group of suspicious looking men. What? Could they be former followers of the Jiangdong warlords? This isn't good. We need to hurry to Su's side at once. Hang in there, brother. We're on our way. The timing couldn't be worse. We were on the verge of uniting the land in the name of Wu. Sun Tzu, we cannot afford to lose you at this critical juncture. Hey! Where's my sister at? Hmm, maybe she's with Lord Sun Tzu. Oh no. I've got to go help them! Ah, uh, wait for me, Master Sun Tzu! This is my chance to repay the debt I owe. I will do whatever it takes to save him! I must rescue my brother from the enemy assassins. I need to gather as much information as possible. Find him. Huh! <laughs> 
is all mine. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. You have sided with Sun Tzu. If you impede my path, I will show you no mercy. Master Sun Tzu is our hope. I will keep him safe, even if it costs me my life. Witness the strength of my bow! Target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. thing is inside Zhang Ye Castle, together with Sun Tzu. A double? Just who is this man? We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Hooray! Victory is ours! That's it, my sister. Very well done indeed. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Report! We've sighted people who look like Gongji in multiple locations. Also seen. Shu Gong. He likely wants revenge on Lord Sun Tzu, too. Our opponent in the... Battle. Gun Ji is no ordinary man. I cannot imagine we can defeat him by the usual means. Gun Ji appears to have put a number of traps in place. Our first step must be to secure as much information about him as we can.
Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Take defensive positions. Today marks the end of Sun Sun. I'll eradicate these wolves by my own hand. You, the enemy of Sun Sun, I'll cut you down where you stand. These are the same men being led by Gan Ji. Xu Gong, have you joined with him? Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Witness the strength of my bow! God. I'm done for. But Sunsa won't have so much of a fight either. I shall return after reviewing my strategy. Who says a woman has to be weak? Yep. Hooray! Victory is ours! Keep it up! That's it! That's it, my sister. Very well done, indeed. Yeah. Anyone thwart our advance. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Sun Tzu, you are an ill fated star, destined to deepen the chaos pervading this land. It is my duty to extinguish your light. I'm starting to get tired of this. Be careful, everyone. This guy has some kind of strange powers. I'm not alone here. My many shadows have been dispatched across the field of battle to torment you all. This area is already under the control of my sorcery. Comrades of Sun Tzu, may you wander forever in the mist. I'll do my best. Kwa has already fallen to Sun Tzu's forces. You have failed to keep your word, Shugong. Hidden blades await you here, but do you devotees of the martial arts not say that it is your earnest desire to die by the sword? Why must I suffer this fate? It was my grave misfortune to look vaguely like him. Report! We defeated Gung Ji, but it seems we got the wrong person. Another decoy! Where is the real Gung Ji? Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. I have blocked the entrance to John Ye Castle with flames. You may all bear witness to Sun Tzu's final moments from outside the castle.
castle has been infiltrated. My kinsmen, you must strengthen the security inside the castle. Possible. My sorcery has been thwarted, and I have been beaten. Yep. But I will not die alone. I swear I will take your accursed fate with me to hell, Sun Sip. Thanks. You saved my life back there. I'm rather exhausted, though. Who says a woman has to be weak? Keep it up! That's it! Supposed to end like this. Sun Tzu, uh, you can't give up. It's not like you. Brother! Brother! Chuen, uh, the future of Sun Wu is in your hands now. Brother, no. I just can't do it. Please don't be worried about Father and I. Uh, you must follow your heart, and then you shall attain success. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm looking forward to seeing the future of Wu. <gasps> Sun Tzu! Brother. Brother? Brother! 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 <laughs> <laughs> So, we've lost half our men to desertion. There's nothing we could have done about it. I believe there are more to come as well. To make matters worse, Huiji and Luling are on the verge of rebellion. Wu's foundation is in danger of crumbling around us. That can't be helped. I am not my brother. I cannot expect these people to continue to follow me like they did him. Cheng Pu, you have no obligation to me. I know you have long been a loyal servant to our family. You are free to live your life as you see fit now. Father, brother, it seems like the Sun family is on its own once again. So tell me, what will you do now? I have no idea. At the very least, I know things will not be like they were before. Listen, brother. We should rebuild U together. U is a kingdom created by our father and brother. That means it is up to us to carry on their hopes and dreams. Shang Xiang. I can never be half the man that father and brother were. I have neither father's presence nor brother's ambition. 
Even if I were to lead, there is nobody who would follow me. Chuen. That is not true. You have us with you, Lord Sun Chuen. What are you guys doing here? Perhaps you're seeing things a little more clearly now. Chang Pu, did you arrange this? Yes, although I had to put aside my annoyance with these greenhorns for a bit. The loss of your brother pains us all. But I can't imagine the hurt you're feeling, Master Sun Chuan. However, the Sun family will always have us. I'll stand by your side even if nobody ever remembers me doing so. I'm not going anywhere. I promise to fight for Wu to the very end. I shall give my life for Lord Sun Chuan, if need be. Everybody's with you, Lord Sun Chuan. Lord Sun Se's not here personally, but he's with you in spirit. That's what my sister told me. Lord Sun Chuan, you must continue pushing forward, if only for Lord Sun Se's sake. Thank you. Lord Sun Chuan, nobody has given up yet. The dream of Wu lives on with all of us. Ha! Father, brother, please forgive me. It seems I let my foolishness get the better of me for a moment. Wu is blessed with many good people. There's no reason that we cannot realize your dream. I know that I am not the man that you both were. However, I cannot let that stop me. Everyone, I pledge from this day forth never to show weakness again. I shall dedicate myself to fighting for U. Chuen. Sun Tzu. I refuse to shed a tear over you. Instead, I promise to carry on with the same fire and ambition that you showed each and every day. We will not stop until you see the banner of Wu flying high over the land. Okay. Forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Shao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Se. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. Liu Bei has yet to find a land and is currently taking refuge with Liu Biao in Jing. He has given Xinye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao.
I see. So the Yuan family has met its end. Yes, my lord. It seems that Yuan Shao and his kin have been slain. Any remaining troops have been absorbed into Cao Cao's forces. I understand. I want you to continue keeping an eye on Cao Cao's movements. As you command, my lord. So now Cao Cao controls the lands from the Central Plains to Hebei. His power is immense. How can U ever hope to respond to this threat? Oh, at this rate, we will never be able to surpass Cao Cao. Greetings, my lord. How are the new recruits coming along? They appear to be quite capable. Ah, it is surprising to hear such praise coming from you, Jotai. They must really be something. Everybody halt! What are you doing? Get over here and pay your respects to our lord. Please forgive me. I did not notice that you were here. I am Xu Sheng. I came upon hearing that you were recruiting new officers. My name is Ding Feng. I have come in order to ensure that the beautiful scenery of my homeland can be enjoyed for many generations to come. I am Lu Xun. I promise to do my very best for the sake of Wu and to restore my family's name. Last, and most definitely not least, I'm Ju Ran. As a former classmate of Master Sun Chuen's, I'm here to do whatever I can to help. Haha, <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Ju Ran. Everyone, I am grateful that you have answered my call. As you know, U finds itself in a rather precarious situation. We face many threats, such as Sao Tsao to the north, and foreign tribes like the Shan Wei to the south. It is my goal to protect U. I must defend the territory and the dream passed down to me from my father and my brother. As such, I will require the assistance of all of you. It shall be my pleasure. In the three years since Sun Tzu passed, we've worked hard to stabilize the region and recruit new people to our cause. However, we still have a long ways to go. Our journey continues ever forward. Cao Cao has conquered the north and become the greatest threat in the Central Plains. It is only a matter of time before he turns to the south. If we are to oppose him, we must attack Huang Zhu and Xia Ku and secure the banks of the Shangjiang. The Shangjiang will serve as a moat to protect us from Cao Cao's army. My father was slain by Huang Zhu's officer Lu Gong. As such, I doubt there will be any objections to us attacking Huang Zhu. However, Cao Cao's massive army still awaits. Are you sure we can do this, Zhou Yu? It is my duty to think up strategies to ensure that we can. Zhou Yu! There is no need to be so down on yourself. Even if we cannot seize victory, we can at least look to avoid defeat. We can divide the land in two with Cao Cao, maintaining a sense of balance between North and South. Don't you agree, Master Zhou Yu? Lu Su is right, my lord. We should look to avoid conflict with Cao Cao until we can build up enough strength to take him on. Hmm. If the two of you are in agreement, then I suppose it would be wise to listen to your counsel. By the way, Lu Su, are you sure you're okay with joining us? 
I know of our past, but I have yet to accomplish anything of note. That is why I wish to serve you, my lord. I foresee great things from you. I ask that you allow me to help you on your path. Furthermore, I promised Master Sun Jian that I would one day serve Wu. I still remember my words as if it were yesterday. I see. Thanks, Lu Su. I am certain that father brought Lu Su to us. Pardon the interruption, but I heard that the princess summoned me. Yes, I did. Good timing, Lian Chu. Allow me to introduce you, brother. This is Lian Chu. She's one of my personal guards. I imagine your paths are likely to cross, so I thought you two should get to know each other. I am Lian Chu. It's a pleasure to meet you, my lord. Um, Lord Sun Chuen. Uh, forgive me. I was thinking about something. Lian Shu, please look after Xiang Xiang for me. Of course, my lord. I'll guard her with my life. Brother? <laughs> I see what's going on here. Well, we should be going. We have to attack Huang Zhu and seize Yaku, right? Yes. Everyone, it's time to prove to the land that the Tigers of Jiangdong are alive and well. The time has come to attack Huang Zhu at Xiaku. Our first task is to rendezvous with the rest of our army. Thank <laughs> you. 